it, it's official now. Nita Strauss have joined Demi Lovato's touring band. Demi Lovato, you probably heard her songs on the radio. She's a pop artist. Uh, I think she's got like 13 million followers on Instagram. And I'll tell you, before, the, before she actually left um, Alice Cooper's band, you know, I, I saw Nita back at Hellfest. So she said she was going to, um, she has a new gig. She wouldn't tell me what it was. Even me, you know. <laughs> so she, she made a switch. And it's pretty interesting. I think, um, look, she's been in the band with Alice Cooper for eight years. So a lot of people, I mean, look at the comments here. I mean, you don't really want to look, look at comments on, um, on Blabbermouth. But let's check out this video of her um, playing on Jimmy Kimmel with Demi Lovato. You wanna check this out? Let's do it. Here with their brand new single, Substance, Demi Lovato! Just before you guys think what's going on, well, Demi Lovato actually played pop music, so not really this kind of pop punk music. Kind of a kind of a surprise, actually. <laughs> kind of a surprise she's um she's not in the rock band. Okay, you see her at the back here. Um, some of you guys in chat are saying, look, you, she getting paid uh, more per note. And I think you probably right there. She's definitely have to play less notes to get paid more money. <laughs> right? She's not going to take a pay cut. Let's, she's a pro. You know, I don't, think, I don't think she's taking a pay cut to do this gig. My head's Hey, is that is a catchy song? It's a catchy song. And to be honest, this kind of music is always pretty catchy. It sticks in your head. This is an all girl band, as you can see. She obviously knows what she's doing, right? She put together a girl band to go on this tour. And they're going on a, on a massive tour, from what I heard. It's gonna be a long tour. <laughs> So what do I think about this? Here, here it is. I don't know what you guys think, but it is a tough move to move from playing with Alice Cooper 
which is a you know super respected legendary artist into the pop world and i see a lot of back backlash from fans i see on the social media on her socials too and just all around the internet and i think people don't really understand a lot of things you gotta take challenges in life come on you can't just stay at your gig and just say well i'm just gonna keep doing this and cash my paycheck that's not how it works to be an artist to be a guitar player you gotta go out and take challenges instead of just doing one thing i think this is a risky move and she's she has a lot to prove to the metal world that she made a good move. But I think this is good for her because you gotta take risks to um to get better at something. And she ha she got a big big hill to climb, but we all do, and we all need that hill to climb to to improve. You can't just do the same thing all the time, like I say again and again. And I think she's gonna inspire way more guitar player out there if she gets the spot on stage live. That means if she gets to show what she's capable of. In pop music, guitar players are usually disregarded. We're just like sideshow in the back. I'm sure there's something going on there where they told her, look, we, we, you get to show your skills in front of these millions, millions of people. Look, although Alice Cooper is a legend in the rock world, the rock music is just not even close to be as popular as the pop music world and Demi she's huge she's so huge you hear the radio you listen to radio you hear her songs and this is a big step forward for her and she gotta prove it so I think um, she will prove it and everyone will shut up later but understand this also she already proven she'd been in the Alice Cooper band for 8 years that's a long time you can't just keep doing the same thing and look let's, let's be serious Women, is much tougher for women to be in this industry. Much tougher. You got to take that chance now when you get it. It's much more difficult. You know, men, we can, we can be like, we can just kind of strut along and kind of get on with it. But it's much harder for women to do it. And also, the, the time frame of your life. You know, what do you want to do? Do you want a family? Do you want to start this? How do you want to do it? You, you got you to gotta make the best out of it in the time that you have. So for all those people out there not understanding this, I'm giving it to you in as much as I understand in this, in this music world. It's tough. And since you've done the Alex Cooper gig, everyone know who you are now. Let's go out there, spread on new ground, and see if you can inspire more people out there to play the guitar and inspire a new generation of players. I think it's a, it's a daring move. Let's see what happens. Um, it's not about being the best sometimes because there's no such thing at the best but can you make your mark as the legendary guitar player to inspire as many people as possible i think that's what maybe what she's going for you know to go beyond beyond what she is like in the rock scene and go just like commercial fully let's see what happens it's gonna be interesting i don't know what you guys think but of course write down the comments here what you think of what you think of my technical ala analysis of this big event in the rock world and the guitar world. Um, lots of misunderstanding out there. Can I talk about Dem Demi's guitar playing? To be honest, I wasn't really paying attention to her guitar playing. Anyone can play the guitar. Come on, you guys. Anyone can play the guitar. It's chords. Anyone can play the guitar. You can pick up the guitar and buy one now and play these songs. You can. You, you, I guess if you pick up the guitar now, you can probably play that song within six months if you work hard at it. It's not really something we care about. That's not what we're talking about. We are really talking about the jump from a successful rock guitar player with a successful rock act into a new territory into um, the, the pop world. It's going to be difficult because guitar players get much, uh, much more attention in, in metal and in pop music, we only, they only really care about the singing, most likely. You got to bring it to kind of push out and make your mark. Hopefully, you know, it'll work out and she will sell millions of these guitars so she doesn't have to worry about it later on. <laughs>